Taking another live look now at the situation in Washington, D.C., lawmakers pleaded with the president to restore order to the Capitol. The White House eventually released that video statement of President Trump calling on his supporters to go home peacefully. But he started that video by claiming he won the election and ended the video by saying, I love you to the rioters. CBS 4's Christina Ruffini joins us now live. And Christina, a curfew is now in effect, has been for an hour or so now, but still plenty of people there at the Capitol, right? There's still people milling around, and you know we heard this announcement come from over the speaker at the Capitol. I've reported here 14 years. I've never, I've never heard it. I didn't know it could do that. Saying there's a curfew now in place in the city, and that's something we've seen throughout the summer. You know, it's it's been a long year here in D.C. We've had a lot of riots. We've had a lot of protests. It's an effort to just say, look, here's the line. If you're on the streets by 6 p.m., we can arrest you. You need to go home. But so far, we haven't seen that. We've been standing out here past 6 p.m. Now we are on the Capitol grounds. One thing we did see is we've seen um, sniffer dogs going around and they close this gate behind us and we're hearing from our colleagues on the inside that the Capitol building is now secure. So what that means is the lawmakers can start to come back and finish that process of certification, which was supposed to be the dramatics of today, was supposed to be the high point of today before we saw the rioters and the protesters come through and actually breach the walls of the Capitol. We spoke to a, a gentleman earlier who said he drove all the way from California and he broke a window to get inside the building and he says he's around for the next couple days. So the question is, Later tonight, where do all these protesters go? Do they abide by the curfew? Do they abide by President Trump's pleas to go home? Or do they stick around and, and wait for wait to do something else to try to reinstate the man they believe won the election without any proof? Christina, you mentioned that you have been covering the Capitol for over a decade now. You said that you've covered many protests. Even recently, how has the law enforcement presence today compared to what you've seen just in the last year or so? The crowds are comparable. You know, the, the different, it's very hard to count crowds because it's always based on your perspective and where you are. And that's why the National Park Service and the police used to issue crowd count numbers and they don't do it anymore because it's gotten to be so controversial. It was a large crowd. There were a lot of people here. I would say they were comparable to some of the BLM protests we've seen over the summer. And unfortunately, one of the things we saw with all these groups is animosity towards the media. My cameraman and I had to break down our original live shot because people were mentioning things about how we should all be hung. My colleagues on the other side of the building, the Senate side is behind me. We're on the House side, had their gear smashed today. So it's a loud crowd. It's an enthusiastic crowd. And at times it's been a dangerous crowd. Are the grounds now uh, secured by the Capitol Police? I know we've heard that the National Guard has come in. We know the uh, Washington Metropolitan Police are out there. Who's in charge right now, Christina? Uh, who's in charge might be a, a bigger question than I can answer this evening as far as uh, who we're seeing here. Behind us, it is the Capitol Police around the cordon around. So there's, a, you know, the Capitol complex and then there's blocks of Capitol buildings around it. And as I look behind my behind my cameraman here, I see just lights and sirens all the way down the block. And as we drove up, we could see all kinds of cars. It seems like almost every law enforcement officer in D.C. had been called to the Capitol today. And that's something you see anytime a big event happens in the D.C. metro region. We have Virginia, we have Maryland, we have D.C. police. So they've called in reinforcements earlier, uh, we believe, but I have not confirmed that this is the FBI standing behind us. Uh, so everybody's here out in force and, and ready to go, but uh, it didn't stop them from getting inside the building. Christina, thanks so much for your live reporting. I know it's been a long day, long night still ahead as we await that confirmation of the electoral vote count.